news, the Mitchell Trubisky era is officially over in Chicago as Mitch now has a new team in the Buffalo Bills. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, guys. I'm trying to bring you the latest and greatest with the NFL and also with the Bears. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms, guys, and make sure to hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video, okay? I have a lot to say. Let's get into it. All right, it. so right off the bat, let me start with this. I literally, I'm not even joking, guys. I literally just got done recording a video talking about potential landing spots for Mitchell Trubisky. And then right after I'm done recording the video, before, you know, obviously I uploaded it, I have to edit and, and whatnot, news breaks that Mitchell Trubisky has signed with the Buffalo Bills. So obviously I got to scrap that. We got to redo this and talk about Mitch signing with the Buffalo Bills. So my first thoughts, my first reaction when I saw the news, I'm happy for Mitch. I am happy for Mitchell Trubisky. And let me just say this, all right? I wish Mitchell Trubisky nothing but the best. I hope he succeed, succeeds. I hope he prospers because here's the thing about Mitchell Trubisky, guys. Even though it didn't work out in Chicago, the thing I loved and respected about Mitchell Trubisky was he always put in the work. He was never about the drama, never about the spotlight, never, you know, was not a team guy. He did everything the right way, folks. He just was not able to, you know, really be the guy on the field. And you know what? Not everyone is going to be elite. Not everyone's going to be a superstar. It's just obviously um, bad luck that it didn't work out and Mitchell Trubisky was not the guy that was able to live up to the number one, two, number two overall pick expectations. But again, he always was classy, always said the right things, always did the right things. And like I said, he always put in the work. So I want to give a big shout out to Mitchell Trubisky, man. I hope, again, he succeeds in Buffalo. And I hope he has a great career because, you know, in Chicago it didn't work out. But that doesn't mean it can't work out elsewhere. And uh, he was very polarizing in Chicago uh, with the fan base. But there's a guy that was never afraid to put in the work. And I always respected that about Mitch, all right? So just want to give Mitch a shout out there. Now, talking about this fit with the Buffalo Bills. So my first thoughts, like I mentioned, was I'm happy for Mitch. But then second, in terms of fit, I like it. I like it because it's so funny. It's so funny that Josh Allen, who had his breakout season last year and now is considered a top five, seven quarterback in the NFL, uh, an MVP candidate, he was the guy that I looked at last year and I was like, oh, if Mitchell Trubisky gets the right coaching and is in the right system with the right fit, scheme, and everything, he can do what Josh Allen is doing. And now Mitchell Trubisky is the backup to Josh Allen. It's just funny how life works like that, folks. Mitchell Trubisky is now the backup to Josh Allen. So, if you kind of look at the quarterbacking styles here, you see why it's a good fit. Josh Allen and Mitchell Trubisky are similar quarterbacks in terms of their playing style. They're both athletes playing quarterbacks. Now, Josh Allen just happens to be much better at it than Mitchell Trubisky, but that's what they are. Would you guys say Josh Allen is a pure pocket passer? He's not. He's an athlete playing quarterback, right? So, Josh Allen has a ridiculous arm, a cannon for an arm. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky, not so much, but both athletic. Both can make plays with their feet. Both can, you know, create outside the pocket. And again, Josh Allen is just a much, much better version of Mitchell Trubisky. And I should say, uh, you know, Mitchell Trubisky is a very, very poor man's Josh Allen. Like, like you guys kind of get what I'm saying here, where you kind of see it. And with Brian Dayball, with Sean McDermott, and that Buffalo Bills coaching staff, man, if they were able to unlock Josh Allen, imagine what they can do with Mitchell Trubisky. So I love this for Mitch in terms of scheme, in terms of fit. Here's my one issue for Mitch, all right? And this was... Something that I mentioned in the video that I was going to obviously post about where his potential landing spots are. The thing for Mitch in terms of landing spots for me was, does he have a chance to go somewhere and be a starter? All right, because I know Mitch was not going to get a starting job. There's just not that many starting jobs available. I knew he was going to get a backup job. And by the way, 
again, I told you that the Bears obviously, um, you know, kind of botched the whole uh, development of Mitchell Trubisky. Even still, there wasn't a huge market for Mitch. It's not like, you know, he was he was on the free agency wire for a, a minute there. And then, you know, it wasn't like a bunch of teams clamoring to get him. Again, it is what it is. But uh, he got a backup job. He got a backup job. He didn't get a starting job. So, again, for all the Mitch supporters out there thinking, oh, he's going to go to another team and start, he's not. He's going to go back up Josh Allen. So, the, the one thing I don't like is there is no avenue here for Mitchell Trubisky to become the starter, right? Unless Josh Allen gets hurt, but then he can come back and he'll take the starting job. The teams that I thought could potentially be that for Mitchell Trubisky, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. You take a look at both those situations, 49ers, you got a smart head coach in Kyle Shanahan, offensive genius, West Coast system, Fitz, Mitch, Jimmy Garoppolo, Kyle Shanahan's not really sold on him much. And so you could maybe see that if he developed Mitch, he could overtake Jimmy G, all right? And then Pittsburgh, we know Big Ben's only coming back for a year. So you go to a strong organization like Pittsburgh, a strong coach like Mike Tomlin, and you back up Big Ben for a year, now you maybe have a chance to be a starter. Well, in Buffalo, Josh Allen is still very young. He's not going anywhere. He's going to be a starting quarterback. Now, thankfully for Mitch, it's only a one-year deal. So he's going to be there and, you know, only for a year. So I think for Mitch, he's just looking to get developed the right way, be with the right scheme, the coach, the fit, fit, everything is there in Buffalo. So from that perspective, I love it for Mitch. From a starting quarterback perspective, that having that opportunity, I don't love it. But maybe this is the plan for Mitch. He goes there, they fix him, and then he goes to another team and pulls a Ryan Tannehill. Boy, wouldn't that be something? So to me, happy for Mitchell Trubisky, man. How can he not be? Even if it didn't work out, you got to root for the guy. So um, Buffalo Bills backup quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. There you have it, folks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.